Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. I was wanting to do a nice simple and easy sketch. So for this one, my main focus was using my uh, stitch dies from My Favorite Things. And that's going to create our center like cluster as you saw in the photo. Okay, so I'm using from Kaiser Craft, the, is it Humani Garden? And I'm using the thank you from the stamp set. And then I'm using the papers from the six and a half by six and a half paper pad. So right now what we're going to do is start. We're going to put everything together. But before I do that, I'm going to just use some of the clear Nouveau powder to um, set the thank you. So that way it doesn't smear. And you guys know how we do that. You use the clear powder, heat up your heating tool, and then melt it. And it'll make sure that that black ink doesn't smear when your hand goes across it. Alright, so once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and start building our card with the base piece. Which I also used the die for because I was already die cutting. So I used, um, I want to say it was Spellbinders. And it's the, almost the four and a half not four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half die. It, it leaves an eighth of an inch border around. So I got that one. And then the three rectangle stitch dies we're just layering. And sometimes this happens. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but you lay it down based off of what you see on the photo. And I realized that my spacing, though it would work, is not exactly the same. So I wind up moving everything to the side and start to peel up what we just put down. And I did that quickly so I wouldn't have to worry about any type of tearing. Once you press down on your you know, ATG tape that you use, it's really hard to pull that back up. And I'm just not using that particular red flower, but I wanted to see what if that was going to work in that placement. So now we're just finalizing, putting down our pieces. Now I'm going to grab some of the foam tape and put the sentiment up. And then for the banner that I'm getting ready to cut right now, um, we're going to put tape on one end, the ATG tape. And then on the other half of the banner, we're going to use some of the foam tape. So that way it's lifted up as well, like the sentiment. Alright, and once we have that there, I'm going to go ahead and grab um, some of my Prima flowers. They're the Gold Kiss flowers. That one is way too big. And I think I'm going to do the small one here with a leaf, but that particular leaf was way too big. So I think we're going to do that right there. And normally with these flowers, I like to use um, hot glue, but I decided to just use blue dots instead. I have the ultra thin ones. They're a little bit wider than your typical small glue dot. Um, and I like that so that way it keeps it nice and uh, secure on the paper. Alright, and we're just attaching. I had to move the leaf which took off the glue dot so I had to put another one down. And sometimes, for some reason, these fatter ones, and it's so thin, they don't pull up easy. So sometimes I wind up pulling it up and rolling it into a dot. <laughs> or like a little, you know, a glue, I don't know what you would call it, a glue booger? I don't know. For this flower, though, I also decided to use my 3-in-1 to keep it secure. And I love how this is turning out, but you guys know what I gotta do. I had my sequin phase and I still love my sequins but ever since I got this watercolor set with the golds, splattering is the new sequins, okay? <laughs> so what we're gonna do real quick, real fast, is just, you know, wet it up. I'm using my water brush to get the water out. You just squeeze it and then I'm just real slowly and lightly just it looks like my hands going crazy because I sped up the film but I was doing it actually really 
slow and gentle just so that way I wouldn't get too big of globs and I didn't feel like pulling out the cubby you know sometimes you just want to splatter real quick and move so thank you guys for joining me today I hope you enjoy this sketch it was fun um, and it was super simple uh, make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and I will see you guys with our next video which will be this Sunday we're going to continue on our watercolor uh, trip that we've been on okay so keep an eye out and I will see you guys then have a great day